Hey y'all, it's Shelly. Um, so I posted a video about a craft haul yesterday and sorry my lighting is so terrible because it's dark here now. Um, and I couldn't decide if I wanted to go back and get the Hawthorne paper collection. Um, I fear that it's it, it would be out of stock everywhere if I waited, although they had probably six of them at Spotlight. Um, and I needed to go pick up a needle for my sewing machine anyway because I've been trying to fix my curtains and I um, broke the needle. So I told my husband, you know, I've got to go. Well, guess what he said? Pick up whatever you need. <laughs> Wrong thing to say. So um, I got the paper pad because dear husband was paying for it so I got that a lovely Hawthorne paper pad now some of you that watch you may not love the flowers Monica but I just love the other papers like don't even look at the pink look at the other papers I love them and you're probably going to be like, yeah, really? You had to have this? <laughs> but I did. I had to have it. Because I, I do. I actually like the pink. Um, I like the pink flowers. So I had to have it. Um, this is the Heidi Swap, which is put out by American Crafts. Um, it is called Hawthorne. It is the 12 by 12. There's 36 pages. I don't know if that means there's two of each design or what. Um, but yeah, I, I'm in love with it. Had to have it. So, was contemplating getting it anyway if he didn't want to pay for it. So, um, went back with that same coupon and I was able to use it again. But the girl took it off of me today. <laughs> so, I can't go back and use it again. I mean, it was only 15%, but... You know, it does save you a little bit. Um, not sure if I kept my receipt. Because every little bit helps, you know. Um, let's have a look and see. Okay, yes. So, the paper pad, I got $3.75 off of the paper pad. So, you know, that's, that's pretty good. Um... So since, uh, you know, he was like, get whatever you need, I picked up a couple of other things that I wouldn't have got if <laughs> I was paying for it out of my bank account. So I got more of the eyelets in the same, the same pack because I, I do use these a lot. And um, so, yeah, I, especially when I make, you know, tags or mini albums, which I haven't made in years. But, um, yeah, I, I'll use these. So I got them. Then I picked up oh this Kaiser Craft pad and it's called Stargazer. I have no clue if this is new. I'll see if it has a date or anything. No. Nope. You know how sometimes it'll have like the date? Well it doesn't it doesn't have a date or anything, but yeah, it's called Stargazer. I hadn't seen this one before. Um and, uh, you know, there's quite a few, like there's there's uh, flowers and like this print kind of looks like a woman to me. But like the rest of it would be pretty good to make for guy cards. And then these are all your, sorry about that shadow over there. These are all of your, um, you know, die cuts that come with the Kaiser Craft packs. I looked for the, um, the die cut pack. What is the... I forget what the Kaiser Craft die cut packs are called, but I looked for them, couldn't find it. Um, and then I got the this one, which says Open Road, but it is like the um, 12 by 12 Australian paper pad. I don't know what the name of it is exactly, um, but I'll open it up and show you because I kind of, if I can do it without cutting my paper I kind of wanted to get the 12 by 12 and I I may go back and get another one of these um, because I want to do some 
um, some cards with them like to send to family back home. And so you can see, oh, scratch that piece. Oh no. So you can see that it's, um, you know, it's just like the 12 by 12 pad, um, you know, which I think like my aunt and probably even my mom and like it's got the you know it's embossed everything um my aunt and my mom would enjoy these papers um with the flowers I don't know if this is a uh, yeah this is waltzing Matilda um you know and if you know a lot about Australia you know that song um leather the native birds, um, eucalyptus and gum leaves, cracked sand, and then, oh look, New South Wales, that's where I live. Um, and, you know, you can cut all of these out. The, uh, this reminds me of Man from Snowy River. <laughs> Um, and then, you know, there's the map. And let's see, where do I live? I live, like, right up there somewhere. Um, and then that dirt, that, and then here's all your, um, you know, die cuts that coordinate with it and I really like these like I wish I could just get more of these with like the the flower the native flowers and so yeah so I think I might go get another one of these uh, they didn't have the die cuts for those either and I might get the 12 by 12 for um, the projects I want to do so uh, I'm also in uh, and I got a went to Office Works got a boring um, ink cartridge um, because I do print out a lot for my projects. Um, I'm in a group where um, we we do ATCs with each other and three per three people work on one ATC. I may have mentioned it before. Well, there's another swap going on in that group, and I have to say, some of the, the designs that I've seen people sending to each other, they're just, they're really, really good. You know, like, um, sometimes I look at the ATCs that I've done after other people, and I'm just like, nah, I don't know how much I've added to this, you know? And then sometimes I get one, and I'm totally stumped as to what I should do with it. Um, I have one that... That uh, is like really, really old that I just can't come up with anything to do with. Um, but anyway, they they are doing a memory decks or a Rolodex swap. The memory decks is like a four by four, and the Ro Rolodex is a little bit smaller. So um, I'm doing that swap as well, just just within the group. And the thing I love about this group is it's no pressure. It's no. Um, it's the most laid back group that I've ever been in. And it's a group of really, really good ladies. I mean, you don't want to like hold on to things forever, you know, but it's really, really laid back. And, um, you know, like this is, this is one that I currently have and two people have already worked on this and then I will work on it and I would show you, show you the back, but it has their information on it. Um, and then we just write our information on the back and each person writes what they've done to it. Um, so, yeah, it's really cool. Um, and then here's another one I have. Same thing. I would show you this but it, on the back, but it has their um, information on it. Um, I may have a blank back that I use. I do. So this is for obviously the ATCs that go this way and not this way but there's a base person who who creates the base and that may just be plain or you may add something to it 
there's the middle person and then there's the homer and the homer sends it to one back to the base and one back to the middle so it's really cool um, and we're we're doing the memory deck swap in there and it's it's not do three memory decks you know it's not like that but um, so I got these little packet of boxes um, and the memory decks like I said is four by four and this is a six pack of nested boxes by die cuts with a view and so what I'm gonna do I think I can even use this lid I don't know if if these if this one was to get uh, full but you can see the first one is about let's see four and you know it's almost five inches and then the next one is four and three quarters and then the next one is four and a quarter you know and then the next one is too small for the memory decks but I can put ATCs in that so that's three boxes that I can use to store the memory decks in and it was for all of those boxes eight dollars and I picked up the one box that was kind of this this size like the biggest one and it was six dollars like the paper mache one so I put that back and I got all of these for two dollars more and I can you know use these others for other things and I'm going to create the poles or the whatever you want to call it in my the the that'll hold the memory decks I'm gonna use um, paper straws these are really really thick um, when I saw people do a video with paper straws for the memory decks I thought that's crazy they're not gonna work you know but they're really thick and I saw a tip on one of the videos where if you fill it with glue it makes it even more sturdy look at my nails I look terrible anyway um so I'm gonna do that and um, see how I go with that see how it comes out um, so this is a I sat down just because I was so excited about my Hawthorne paper pad it's a really really rambly video and I'm sorry about that but um, I wanted to share that I, I went and got the Hawthorne paper pad and if you love these colors, like I love black and gray and pink. I love black and white and red. I love, I don't know, there's just something about it that I just really like. And I know there's people who don't like pink, like I said before, but I just really, 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 really love this. And I got the die cut pack and I'm ready to go. Didn't find anything else to go with it, but, um... Yeah, I'm excited. I can, you know, I can I can make things to go with it. So, um, I just wanted to come and share that quickly. Um, if you hurry, I know you can still get dyes. And they had plenty of these at my uh, spotlight. If you need some, want some, you know, scream, yell at me. I'll send you some if you're in Australia. Um... And they also had, I wanted to mention, they also had micro beads and glitter and um, dye stamp sets um, by Kaiser Craft, um, some Sizzix dyes. Um, yeah, so they just had a wide range of stuff that they've put on clearance. Um, so go check out Spotlight. And if, you got, if you've got that coupon, it expires, I think, on Sunday. So you better go use it. Um, and maybe you'll get more than 15% off, which is what I got. So, um, thanks for watching. Sorry, so rambly and crazy. Um, I will speak to you all soon. Thanks for watching. Love my paper pad. Have a good day or a good night. What, whatever it is, wherever you are in the world. And I will speak to you soon. Bye.